Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how I made these two cards. Now I'm going to call them a faceted hexagonal aperture box card because that's kind of what they are. You've kind of got the faceting here, obviously you've got the hexagonal aperture um, and it's kind of like a box card. Um, so these are the two cards and obviously they fold flat for posting which is nice. Um, and the final footprint of them um, is about a 6x6. Six six. It's a little bit small, well the height is a 6x6 six six, so yeah. So it needs an envelope that would fit a 6x6 six six card. Um, but they're quite nice, as you can see they're great for mail cards, they'd be great for female, any kind of card really. Um, I'm going to be doing the Christmas card today, because I thought that would work quite nicely. So yeah, so let's get into it. So for this card, you're going to need a base that is uh, 6 inches by 11 and 3 quarter inches. Okay, so uh, if you have an A4 piece of sh uh, sheet of card, it should fit fine on there. Okay, so on your base card, you want to score at two and seven eighths, at five and three quarters, at eight and five eighths, and at eleven and a half. Okay, now as you might be able to see, my card is because A4 does vary, and my A4 was not quite eleven and three quarters, so I've got literally a fraction there. But it's fine, it's enough, it's just your tab to stick it down with really. Um, so what you want to do next is uh, take your take your scoreboard away. You will need a cork board for this because we're going to be scoring some diagonal lines and I do find it easier if you use a cork board. So first of all though, we're just going to go ahead and fold and burnish all our score lines. Okay, so once you've done that, you then need to take a pencil and a ruler and along your five and three quarter inch line, which is kind of like your half inch, your halfway down, you're going to turn it sideways and you're going to make a mark at two and a quarter and at three and three quarters. Okay, so that's your, your mark there. Now, what I would do is, because you're going to be, you're going to be cutting along that line, so if I were you, I would just make a little mark just over a little bit from that, like that, because then you can at least join them up. And then what you're going to do is join them up and you want to make sure, in fact, I'm going to do the line, I'm going to make another mark on this side as well, just to make sure that I'm definitely getting it nice and straight. So two and a quarter, three and three quarters, like that. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to lay my ruler on and then I've put the five and the halfway line I've put it at the four inch line so I can see either side nice and easily um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to measure one and a half inches to the side of that center so one and a half and I'm going to draw a line and then one and a half to the other side so one and a half like that okay and then we're going to do the same with this one. So I'm going to put my ruler on and where my central line is, I'm going to draw a line one and a half on one side and one and a half on the other side like that. OK, um, and then all we need to do now is take your cork board and then you're going to score. Oh, actually, we need to draw, we need to draw another line first. We turn it sideways again. So again, it all happens down this central line, this five and three quarter line. So on across that line, you're going to measure down from the top three quarters of an inch, make a mark, and you're going to measure from the bottom up three quarters of an inch and make a mark. OK, and then what we're going to do is we're going to score from that mark you've just made down to the corner of your line and from there down to the corner of your line. And this is what makes these score lines here. So the lines we're about to score are going to be these diagonal lines, okay? So we're now going to score from that corner to there, like that. And then while I've got my um, ruler angled, I'm going to do the other one as well. And then we're going to go the other way. So from here to there, like that. And the same from here 
to there. Okay, so that's all your scoring done. Now you you need to make sure you really give them a good score, okay, because they might prove difficult in a little in a little moment. So once you've done your um, score lines, you want to bring in your little cutting mat and your either craft knife or whatever. And what we're going to do is the pencil line that you just drew down, you're going to cut along those two lines and then you're just you're going to cut that whole center section out. Okay, so we're going to do that now. So once you've cut out your center bit, you should left, be left with that. So now what you want to do is go ahead and just fold your the diagonal crease lines that you've done. Just give them a bit of a fold. Make sure you get that corner nicely creased. And then what I do is I just kind of get it to where it sort of looks like it needs to be and then fold the whole thing in half. And as you see, mine's going off. So put it in the right place and then get it nice and lined up and then get your bone folder in and just show it where it needs to be like that and then we're going to do the same with the bottom section because if you're just even like a millimeter out with your scoring then that can then throw off everything else so that's why you need to make sure when you're going to burnish it you really do get it in the right place like that just going to go in here and give it a bit of a burnish there we go and so that then gives you that faceted hexagonal opening okay so now because obviously you've got that nice um line that nice edge you now need to bring in your mats and layers so you're going to need four mats i've gone with the shiny and these are two and five eighths by five and three quarters so you want four of those um, and then you also want four patterns. I've gone for two for the front and two for the back. And these measure two and three eighths by five and a half. Okay, so that's what you've got for those. So what you probably best to do is take one of your um, your mat layers, um, and then if you lay it into position on your card like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to washi tape it into position like that. I'm going to carefully turn it over and then I'm going to draw around my aperture like that. Okay, so I now know that, that is pretty much where it needs to be. I've done it quite faint, so you probably can't see it very well. I'm then going to bring my ruler in. And I'm going to draw another line so that I've got about the same border as I've got around the outside. I'm going to draw another line just on the inside. So this side, not that side. Of, so these are my lines here. So I'm drawing it on the, the other side of it. So we're going to draw up here. And then we're going to draw up here. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could just do like a strip and then a couple of triangles. You could do it that way instead of cutting around the aperture. But I just quite like the continuity look of it where you, you, you know, draw around the aperture. Right, so I've done a little bit of a... That was the first line I drew. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. And then I've drawn a line just outside of that. Okay, and then if I take the other, another one of my mats put it so that the two shiny sides are together and I'm just going to washi tape the two together like that and then I'm now going to cut oh, I'm now going to cut that out so I'm cutting it on the the larger you know the line I've just drawn okay so that's one done so that's what these are off cuts so you don't have to you can use them on another card so that's one of the layers done and then the other two panels you don't need to cut out the other two matte panels because they're going to go in the back they're going to go at the back here so you don't actually need to cut those out so there's only the front ones you need to cut out 
So now we're going to decide what our pattern is going to be on the front. Yeah, so I'm going to do the trees on the front of my card. So what we're going to do is, once again, I've got obviously these, so that's my, my layer. And you can actually even check it and just see how it's come out. So hopefully you can see. That's pretty decent. I mean, it's not exactly right. It's a little bit too big there, but it's 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 not bad. It's not bad. And obviously, because that's a bit of an unorthodox shape, it's, it's difficult to match it exactly. But that's not bad at all. I'm happy with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same, but onto the um, the front paper. So take your, um, your matte layer, and then you're going to put your tree paper over the top. Make sure it's nice and level. Take your washi tape, washi tape it into position. Carefully turn it over. Draw around your aperture. Like that. And then stick your two tree, well, well I've got tree paper, but obviously you won't have tree paper. You'll have whatever you're having. Um, so I'm going to put my tree paper on the front like that. I'm going to washi tape the two together, like that, and then we're going to cut that, well, before we cut that, we're going to draw our little line on the other side of it, so we end up with a border. So I'm going to draw a line here. that and then I'm going to cut around the outside line okay so you end up with your pattern piece of paper that match your mats and when you lay them together you have a nice bordered front section so I'm going to go ahead now and just stick these patterns onto the mats. Obviously if you wanted to, you could go ahead and put tape on the back of your mats and your patterns before you um, cut them. However, obviously you'd need to make sure that you could still see your pencil lines through the tape. So that's my only thing about that. But obviously it would then save you having to um, cut around, you know, put tape on, fu on funny corners. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead now and stick that all down. Okay, so once you've stuck your panels down like that, you can go ahead and stick them down on the front of your card. Now, if you've got any pencil lines like I have here, just rub them out before you start. Um, and then these are obviously just going to stick on the front, just there like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stick those down. Okay, so once you've stuck your front panels down, you end up with that. So now what you want to do is you want to take a piece of acetate, um, just an acetate strip. Now this needs to be approximately, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, about that. Not You don't want it too wide. Um, and then the length of it is going to be just shy of the front of your panel. So this one that I've got here measures... Um, five and a quarter or well, five and an eighth this measures five and an eighth of an inch so you, you basically needs to be so it'll come across the top it's not going to be it's not going to be wider than the front of your card um and you're what you're going to do is you're going to turn your card over and you also need to make sure it's not in fact i might cut this down because it, you don't want it wider than your window so what it is this bit of acetate is what your greeting will stick on 
okay your sentiments as you can see it there so that's what it's going to stick on so you don't want it to be too big but you also don't want it to be too narrow so look at what the greeting you know what greeting you're putting on i'm actually putting this joys of the world on so um i don't need it too thick so i'm just going to trim this down a tiny bit so that it's just a little bit thinner because i just think that's a bit too too wide okay so i've cut this down so this is actually three quarters now i think it was over an inch just before um and if you are clever unlike myself you could put it so that it goes underneath these underneath the mat so put it on before you put the mat and layers on but i haven't done that so i'm going to stick it on the reverse side and actually i don't you know it's not a big problem because you're not really going to look in so although you will be able to see it if you did look in it's you know it's up to you if you want to make it really nice and neat then you're better off um, sticking it underneath your mats and layers so what we're going to do now is we're just going to stick so i'm going to lay this on here like that put it where i need it to be and then i'm just going to add a piece of red tape on either side like this and then i'm going to peel the backing off and stick it down so i'm going to turn it over and stick that down on there so it's nice and central it's nice and straight and it the red tape doesn't you can't see it through the the aperture so like that so then if you turn it over when this card does actually close up is that really it bows it just bends forward so you can see that it's just bending bending forward and that's what your um your greeting will go on now the other thing as well which i haven't done on my other two cards but you can if you want are these little triangles here so if you want to measure up mats and layers or whatever for these little triangles you can but i haven't done that i i they don't offend me to be honest with you i quite like them um because they kind of make the aperture sort of make it stand out a bit more right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stick our card together now ideally you'd like to stick your back panels in before you stick it together however because you have a tab here you really want to cover that tab with your inside panel i mean you could stick it on the outside and then cover it here but because it's quite a narrow tab i would rather stick it on the inside of my my box so i'm going to go ahead now get some red tape put it on that bit there and then we're going to fold the whole thing flat and stick it and stick it together so i've peeled my backing off i'm going to turn it over fold that bit with the tab in fold that other side in and stick the whole thing together and then that makes your your box so then what we're going to do is take the other two matte layers that we had and we're going to go ahead and stick the other two pattern layers onto the front of that. Okay, so I've stuck my mats and layers down, so I'm now going to go ahead and stick them in the back there and there, like that. Okay. Okay, so there you go, you've stuck the insides in. So now all we need to do is stick our greeting on the front. So when you're sticking your greeting on the front, just make sure you're only going to put tape on a little bit of where the acetate is. You don't want to do the whole width because then it's not going to open up. So you really do literally need a tiny bit on there. So what I would do is take some red tape, preferably the thicker stuff, the half inch stuff. Cut yourself a piece that is about the same height as your acetate. Lay it nice and flat and where that central line is, stick your red tape on like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to peel that tape, the backing off, take our greeting and position it so it's nice and central, top and bottom and left and right, like that. And then press down and then when you 
pop it open, it'll stand out. And then there's your, your card done. Obviously, you can add extra embellishments on it. If you wanted to, you could leave that bit off, leave the acetate out and put something in the back if you wanted to. Or you could have something hanging in the little window. So, yeah, so you could do all sorts of things with it. But I hope you'll have a go. I hope you enjoyed the card today. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, watching. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Even if you're not, even if you just tune in, but you don't actually, you're not actually subscribed, please do. I upload every Friday. Um, I possibly might be uploading a couple of extra little videos as well, um, but we'll just see time-wise. Thank you to everybody who's subscribed already. Um, I hope you like it, and we will see you again next time. Bye.